Thermochemistry is the branch of science which studies energy, change, absorbed or evolved heat that result from physical and chemical change. Uh, you saw a lot of uh, processes in chemistry and uh, some of them gives energy outside, some of them uh, uh, take energy from outside. So if we assume a reaction as a, as a system, an exothermic uh, reaction releases its energy from the system, from system to surroundings. So uh, briefly we can say if we write the word energy beside reactant, uh, it is endothermic process. If you write the energy word beside reactant, so it is endothermic. If the energy word written beside the product side, so it is exothermic process. There is an energy diagram to understand the exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction. In the exothermic reaction, burning of hydrogen is an exothermic reaction. When the hydrogen burns with oxygen, hydrogen and oxygen react each other to form water. When we burn the hydrogen, it should release some heat to surrounding and it is exothermic process. When we decompose the mercury to oxides, uh, we have to give some energy and it should absorb some energy to decompose to mercury and oxygen and it is endothermic process. So we, we said uh, delta H should be plus in the endothermic processes, delta H should be minus in the exothermic processes. So calorimetry is a device uh, and uh, it consists of some water, stirrer, cell. Inside of the cell uh, should be substance sample uh, which we have to measure uh, it is heat and uh, temperature meter also should be in a calorimeter. Thermometer is also used for the measure the uh, temperature or heat we can say. Okay, there are some formulas to calculate the heat in the calorimeter. You know, calculation of delta T, T final minus T initial, and uh, the following formula is used. We, we talked about that formula also. It is the formula which we used in the calculate uh, heat. There is another formula here. Q absorbed heat is equal to minus released heat. Released heat is always shown by negative sign. Therefore, if a positive sign is obtained, it is changed to a negative sign. We have to change the sign of the positive released heat to the negative. Calculation of mole number is also n is equal to m over uh, small m over big M. Small m is mass. Big M is molar mass. So n is mole, mole number. Qp, we talked about it, we said Q, Qp is equal to delta H. It's a Q released heat over mole because, uh, because we calculate released heat from burning of a one mole substance. The following formula used for that. There is an example here, example 1.2. Three grams of glucose was placed in, uh, inside a calorimeter in figure. Then interaction vessel was filled with oxygen gas. This vessel was placed in the isolated container. Isolated container was filled with 1,200 grams of water. Initial temperature is 21 Celsius. After burning the mixture, uh, the temperature of the calorimeter and its content was raised to 25.5 Celsius. At the end of the reaction, calculate the amount of heat released as a result of burning one mole of glycol in kilojoule unit. Heat capacity also given here. Molecular mass of glycol should be given also because uh, we will calculate the mole number of glycol here. So firstly, uh, we have to calculate the difference uh, between the 
temperatures in initial and in final, and uh, we can get 4.5 Celsius by the equation of delta T. As heat capacity of calorimeter was neglected uh, in the question uh, given like that, the heat capacity of the calorimeter should be neglected. Uh, the amount of heat can be calculated using the formula relationship. It is our formula, Q is equal to specific heat time, uh, mass time, delta T. So Q, Q is equal to 4.2, 4.2, uh, joule over gram times Celsius, it is specific heat. 1,200 grams of water we have in the calorimeter. And 4.5 we calculated as delta T here, 4.5. So the result should be uh, plus 22,608 AT joule, but if in the question given in the released heat, release some heat, you have to con convert the absorbed, absorbed heat to minus, we have to change this sign to minus, so the result for the 3 grams of uh, sugar should be 22, minus 22,680 uh, joule. This amount of heat released through burning of 3 grams of glucose. To find out the amount of heat released from the burning of 1 mole, we have to use the mole formula here. 3 grams of sugar also given in the question. Uh, and 180 grams per mole, uh, it is molar mass of the sugar. We can get the mole of the sugar here. Therefore, the amount of heat released from burning of 1 mole of glucose so, uh, in the question asked about one mole of uh, glucose, uh, QP is equal to delta H. So, Q released it over N. We should write the Q released it here. And over a uh, number of mole, uh, we can get the result. 1,334,118 joule per mole. So, it is in joule, asked about in kilojoule. We have to convert the joule to kilojoule. The unit of enthalpy is joule mole in order to find the, out the value enthalpy kilojoule. Uh, delta H kilojoule is equal to delta H joule over mole times one kilojoule over 1,000 joule. So, we can get the answer uh, minus 1,334 kilojoule over mole. Exercise 1.2. When 3 grams of hydrazine was burnt in a calorimeter containing 1,000 grams of water, the temperature was raised from 24.6 Celsius to 28.2 Celsius by neglecting the heat capacity. Calculate the released heat, released also given here, uh, from burning of 1 mole we have to convert the mole to one mole. Hydrazine in kilojoule unit. So it should be, the answer should be in kilojoule. Molar mass also given here. So we can write the givens. Mass of water is 1,000 gram. Three grams of into H4. We can calculate the delta T here. T final minus T initial is equal to 28.2 minus 24.6. So it is 3.6 Celsius. Delta T is 3.6 Celsius. Molar mass of hydrazine also given into H4 is given. Uh, 32 gram over mole. So specific heat also given 4.2 joule over gram Celsius. So firstly we have to write the equation which we calculate heat 
specific heat joule over gram time Celsius time mass in grams times delta T in Celsius Q is equal to uh, specific heat is given to uh, like 4.2 and uh, we have 1,000 gram of water and delta T we calculated as 3.6 Celsius from here Q is equal to 15,120 so we have to convert it to minus you know uh, we can write like that absorbed is equal to minus Q released so we have to convert it to Q minus 15,120 uh, Joule for 3 grams of and to H4 we have to calculate the mole of hydrazine here sorry I erased them accidentally the result is Q is equal to minus 15,120 Joule for 3 grams of uh, the substance we have to calculate the mole of substance M over big M M is 3 grams of substance big M is uh, 20, uh, 32 gram per mole uh, it is molar mass from here we can calculate uh, the mole of substance is uh, 0 0.094 mole from delta H is equal to Q released per mole equation uh, we, got, we got the 15,120 joule over mole 0 0.049 mole from here delta H is equal to Minus one, one hundred uh, sixty thousand eight hundred fifty one joule, and we have to convert it to kilojoule because in the uh, question asked, in uh, we have to write in kilojoule. So Q kilojoule is equal to Q joule times. 1 over 1000 from here minus 1 uh, 160851 times 1 over 1000 so result is minus 161 Kilo Joule.